हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ कोर नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑफ फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर दैट इज इस्लामिक एंड सिंक्रेटिक ट्रेडिशंस सो फार एज इस्लामिक एंड सिंक्रेटिक ट्रेडिशन आर कंसर्न इन दिस वीडियो मेनली थ्री एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट हैव बीन फोकस्ड वन इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इस्लाम नंबर टू मेजर पिलर्स ऑफ इस्लाम और मेजर प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इस्लाम एंड नंबर थ्री सिंक्रेटिक ट्रेडिशन मीन्स फैक्टर्स हुई हैव इंफ्लुएंस्ड इस्लाम रिलीजन so in this video we'll discuss meaning of islam pillars of islam and factors which have influenced islam and have made some changes let us start what is the meaning of islam but before i start what is the mis- meaning of islam i want to inform my viewers that in my channel from plus 2 first year to plus 2 second year and plus 3 first semester to fifth semester including environmental studies of plus 3 first semester many topics are available in my channel in form of videos i request my viewers if you have not subscribed subscribe so that benefit will be yours and request your friends to subscribe my channel so at least some students of different classes will get benefit and i request my viewers again that videos are all all videos are prepared in english form and odia form don't feel that my videos are only in english or only in odia those videos are in english its odia version are also available in my channel let us start what is the meaning of islam in the world after christianity islam is a major religion in the world christianity is a major religion many people of the world they have adopted christianity but after christianity islam is the second major language in the world in india also after hinduism islam is second major religion in india and this islam has been originated in the 7th century and after the spread of islam in after the spread of islam in syria and egypt caliph wajid one of damascus ordered arabs ordered arabs to invade to attack india to spread islam in india so Islam is not only the second major language of the world but it is also a second major religion in India so what is islam islam is a arabic term means complete submission to the will of god or complete submission to god allah so islam is an arabic word which means complete submission to the will of the god or complete submission to god who is allah and it believes in monotheism means one god allah who is the creator sustainer and restorer of world and muhammad is the only messenger 
or prophet sent by Allah God to teach people and give messages of Allah. So Islam is an Arabic word. It means complete submission to will of the God or complete submission to God who is Allah. And Islam regards that only one God is present who is Allah. Except Allah, there is not a second God. And Allah is considered as the creator, sustainer and restorer of the world. Allah is the creator. He is the protector. And he also rehabilitates peace in the world. So he is the creator. He is the sustainer. And he is the restorer of the world. And Muhammad is the only prophet and messenger of Allah who is sent by Allah to world to give his message to people. So we are clear about the meaning of Islam. Now discuss. Islam has some principles or pillars. There are some pillars on which Islam religion is best. It's best. B-A-C-D. The first major principle of Islam is that Sahada. Sahada means declaration of faith. It means there is only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The first principle of Islam is that Sahada means in the world there is only one God, He is Allah. Except Allah, there is no second God. And Muhammad is the only messenger of Allah. He is sent by Allah to give his message to people. Number two, prayer or salah. It means every Muslim will have to give prayer five times in a day, kneeling towards Makkah, holy city of Islam in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. So second principle of Islam is that Every Muslim will have to give prayer five times in a day, kneeling towards Makkah, the holy city of Muslims, which is in Saudi Arabia. Number three, charity or charity or alms giving, jakat. It means every Muslim will have to give two point five percent of his income. To poor people. It is the duty of every Muslim to donate 2.5% of his income to poor people to end their miseries. But those who do not have adequate money, it is not compulsory for him to donate 2.5% of his income to poor people. Number four, fasting. It is another principle of Islam. Fasting during the month of Ramadan. In the holy month of Ramadan, Muslims will, will not eat, will not drink when sun is out, but they will eat and they will drink when moon is out. So in the month of Ramadan, they will have to undertake fasting. They will not drink and it when sun is out, they will eat and drink when moon is out. This is the fourth principle. Now, fifth, a pilgrimage to Makkah. Another principle of Islam is that a pilgrimage to Makkah or Haji. It means every Muslim during his lifetime will have to go to Makkah once to to give prayer at Masjid Al-Haram. So every Muslim will have to go once to Makkah for his pilgrimage to pay his prayer at Masjid Al-Haram. Number six, believe in Holy Book Quran. Another principle of Islam is that Muslims believe in the Holy Book of Quran 
they consider Quran is the holy book and all Muslim must be guided by it. Number six, number seven, trust in ulemas. Ulemas are considered as medium to carry out religious work who have knowledge about Quran. So they believe that ulemas, they will carry out the religious work of Muslims and because they will carry out Muslim work, of, they will carry out religious work of Muslims because they have knowledge about Quran. So out of seven, out of seven principles, first five are the main five pillars. Like, like Sada means it believes that there is only one God Allah. Number two, prayer. Every, every Muslim will have to give prayer five times a day. Then charity or alms giving, jakat to give donated money for to poor. Then fasting in the month of Ramadan. Then pilgrimage to Makkah. These are the five main pillars. Beside this, they believe in the Holy Book of Quran and they believe to carry out their religious work through ulemas. So these are the major principles of Islam. Now discuss syncretic traditions. It means how Islam religion has been changed due to some factors. It is known as the syncretic traditions. So what factors have changed Islam religion to a considerable extent? No one. Impact of Akbar. Akbar was born in the year 1542 and died in the year 1605. He ruled for 49 years. Akbar. Akbar ruled for 49 years. And during his time, he started a religion known as Din e Ilai. And in this book, in this religion, Din e Ilai, Akbar told that all people of all the religions are equal. People of no religion are superior and people of no religion are inferior. And he believed that people of all religions are equal. So he abolished pilgrimage, pilgrimage tax and jizya tax. But before Akbar, Muslims were considering, Muslims were, Muslims were thinking that Muslim people are superior, people of other religions are inferior. So, Dini Ilahi religion of Akbar had an impact on Muslims which told that people of all religions are equal. So it has an impact on the Muslim religions. Number two, impacts of Sufism. When Sufism became popular, Sufism told about non-ritualism. Non it Sufism does not give importance to rituals. So by the impact of Sufism, many rituals in Islam have been reduced. Number three, impacts of Hinduism. There was also impact of Hinduism. Before the impact of Hinduism, in the Islam, there were no classes. By the impact of Hinduism, different classes were created in the Islam religion. Now, four, impact of democracy. By impact of democracy, Muslims women take part in public activity, they take education, come out from four walls of the houses, enter into masjids in some nations to give prayer, and after divorce, divorce, Muslim women were given compensation nowadays in many nations. And the principle of three talaq system was abolished. So there was also impact of democracy on Islam religion. By the impact of democracy, Muslim women came out from the four walls of their houses. They take education. They involve themselves in public activities, they take part in political activities and they were given compensation after divorce. 
Then the principle of three three talak system was abolished. Then point five. Writings of Muslim poets of Quran in Hindi. Muslim poets they started to write Quran in Hindi language. It had also a considerable impact on the Islam religion. Many poets like Joyasi, Nabi, Kaji Muhammad Bahari, Sukho, Sheikh. Daniel Chisti started to write Quran in Hindi. Then Dara Sukho started to write Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita in Parsi. And Dara Sukho used a ring in his finger where the word Prabhu was written. Means God in Hindu version. So we have discussed in this video what is the how Islam has been originated? What is the meaning of Islam? What are the pillars of Islam? And we have discussed how Islam religion has been changed to a considerable extent by some factors like Dini Ilhai religion of Akbar impact of Hinduism, impact of democracy, impact of Sufism, impacts of writings of Muslim poets to write Quran in Hindu form, in the, uh, sorry, writing of Quran in Hindi language and Dara Sukho started to, and Dara Sukho started to write Bhagavad Gita and Upanishads in Parsi. So I request my viewers to watch this video attentively in two ways. You may watch whiteboard and you can write down. If you listen to me also, you can write down your notes. Thank you. Have a good day.